Hello and good afternoon. I'm here today with Suha Khufash of Art to Heart in Palestine. Our subject is going to be art as a bridge for accessibility. But first, I'm going to have Suha tell us a little bit about Art to Heart before we tackle this. I think it's going to be a really interesting and quite, you know, quite a difficult subject. So, Suha, take it away, please. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. And uh, it's really a pleasure for me to speak about Art to Heart, to introduce our work in Palestine. Of course, as you said, art is not an easy thing, uh, maybe all over the world, because it's not a priority in some countries, like in Palestine. Art to Heart started as an inclusive cultural center in, in 2018. And it's maybe the first inclusive cultural center in Palestine that bring together people or children with disabilities and those without disabilities. So it's mainly about inclusion and accessibility. I will be, be talking more about the accessibility during the interview. So when we started in 2018, uh, of course, I'm the founder, co-founder. People were saying like, oh, are you, are you sure what you're going to do, Suha? This is arts organization for people with disabilities. Is this a priority for the people with disabilities in a country like Palestine under occupation, where people are really suffering on daily basis, where the people with disabilities are looking for basic needs, especially after the wars, the ongoing war in Gaza and uh, the, uh, the ongoing attacks in the West Bank. So is art a priority for people with disabilities? I thought, okay, you will see that it's going to be a really success story maybe in a few years. And uh, this is what we are working on now. Uh, Art to Heart started from the uh, city at, in the West Bank. It's called Nablus. And now we're having, we're proud to be having a mix of people with disabilities, intellectual disabilities, mm. physical disabilities, as well as people without disabilities who come to the center every day, almost every day. And we also have an outreach program going out to rural areas, to refugee camps in mm. Palestine, and working with mothers and families of those with disabilities. This wow. is in brief. <laughs> wow, what a start. But obviously yeah. it's been successful because here you are sitting with me. So let's get settled straight in. And I'm going to ask the kind of leading question, which is, what is the role of art in creating bridges for accessibility and inclusion for persons with disabilities, and in particular in Palestine? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to ask you after that if you could give us some examples, because yeah. Everybody out there is really looking forward to hearing how it works, and they can say, yeah, I can identify with that. Sure. So, over to you again. Sure, sure thank you. Of course, uh, art is a universal language, and it, it's really a, a powerful tool that breaks barriers, breaks, break to, uh, breaks uh, stereotypes, and it also bring people together. Mm. So this is the, the strong point that we really started from. In a difficult context, like in Palestine, where people are really interested about uh, satisfying their own basic needs, with a government that is really uh, struggling to provide basic needs for people with disabilities and also without disabilities, mm. because we are under uh, Israeli occupation, and there are different priorities, as you know. And uh, so the arts come as, okay, we can tell the story, especially for those with disabilities who's been attacked by, attacked by like in Gaza, the war, and in the West Bank. Uh, people have been uh, suffering uh, every day, and there are attacks all, all the time going on. So we thought art could be a bridge for uh, telling the story, telling their own stories, and raising their voices, because it's not only enough to, to fight for the basic needs. All of us as a humans have different needs, not only to have like uh, food or, or the, uh, to have access to education. Of course, these are very important, but again, we have other needs that we need to talk about. Art is a basic human right. Yeah. Practicing art is very important for people with disabilities, but it was 
not a priority in the country, which is really um, uh, have other uh, uh, basic uh, things to provide. So um, with the arts, I think that and that's where the, the, the power of art to heart came. We can really tell another story. We can raise the voices of those who are marginalized as disabled people. Um, those who cannot really speak about their needs, they can do that through the arts. They can do that through their painting, through the films, uh, through exhibitions. And this is where we started from. Actually, uh, we use arts in uh, different uh, uh, ways. Yeah. First, uh, art could be a tool for inclusion mm -hmm. because, uh, and of course, access, and access to the real life because people with disabilities, especially those with intellectual disabilities, uh, after the age of 16, they are um, in Palestine, they have nowhere to go. They have to stay at home. They cannot anymore join rehabilitation centers because they already have their own, uh, uh, you know, um, treatment. Right. And then they got stuck at homes. So from this point, we thought, okay, we can give them access to life, to normal life. And um, I can give you an example Please about, do. yeah, thank you, about uh, the, the COVID-19, uh, the, the, the lockdown, yeah. and the people had to stay at home. Of course, that was really difficult time for people with disabilities, especially those with intellectual disabilities, that they feel even more marginalized and isolated during the lockdown. Uh, to be able to do something special for them through the arts, we thought, okay, maybe we can get them engage, engaged through the technology and uh, the social media. As Art to Heart, we prepared packages of artworks, art materials, um, crayons, yeah. um, you know, different artworks. The tools of the trade. The tools, and we circulated them to their homes, and we asked them with the families to uh, follow us on the Facebook. Every day, we used to post yeah. uh, something about creating artwork yeah. through volunteers who are artists and who uh, really were happy to, to provide like kind of support and ideas about creating arts. And we were really surprised that those people with disabilities who are 16 plus years old, they had something to do during the lockdown. Right. They spent hours working, creating arts and sharing them online with us. Yes. We organized contests and we, it was really an amazing opportunity. So we managed to, um, to change the, the, or the narrative maybe or the situation from being more isolated during the, the, the pandemic yeah. to being more active and proactive. So the feedback was amazing and the families were really happy and they helped and worked together with their children to produce an artwork. So this is one of the really examples that I'm happy and proud to have achieved in the past. So art is used as a way, as a bridge for communication. And also it's uh, in another way, art is a bridge for people without disabilities right. to know more about the people with disabilities through our center. So uh, we organize different workshops, different uh, um, uh, activities to bring children without disabilities to work together with people with disabilities at our center. We invite university students, we, or we go out to the community and we try to um, uh, uh, encourage uh, people with disabilities to take the lead in speaking about their artworks through the yeah. exhibitions, not only to receive uh, or to be, to be recipients of uh, what others are giving them, but on the contrary, they are now leading. For example, we have deaf artists who come to our center and they give workshops to the children without disabilities. So you can imagine how we can, in this way, start to challenge and change the stereotypes about the abilities of people with disabilities. So it is going on, and it's really amazing what's yeah, going well, on. It sounds absolutely so amazing. So proud. And this, this brings up a, a, a question, which is, um, has there, in, in, in your, say, an art session and something that you're organizing, do you always have a mix of um, able people and disabled people, and have you? And uh, has that always been a really important part 
of your practice and your theory. Yeah. Actually, it's one of our different programs of bringing people together, the abled and disabled people to work together, both as children and yeah. also as adults. So every time we have workshops or we have activities, we make sure that it is an inclusive event that right. brings together people from different areas, but uh, abilities, I mean. But also, I would like to speak about a special program that we are doing now, yeah. and it's called Bridges, a right. Bridges Club. It Hence is the question. The bridges. That's, yeah, <laughs> it's called Bridges, and mainly it's uh, it's targeting uh, uh, females. Not only females, but the majority of our members are females with disabilities. Right. They come to our center three times a day, a week. Sorry, three times a, a week, mm -hmm. and they spend three hours. Uh, developing their art talents, uh, yeah. working with a specialist, a social worker, and an artist to produce artworks. Yeah. And this is mainly um, for them to develop their art skills as well as uh, the, the life skills. So we arrange for, we organize uh, like uh, community events for them. Yeah. We go out, they take part in voluntary events. Yeah. And so they tell the society that we are here, please see us. And we, every one of us has a story. So it is a platform for them to speak about themselves and not to wait for others to speak their story on their, on their behalf. Um, so Bridges is now becoming, um, it is scaling up yeah. and it's now attracting more and more people with uh, disabilities to join, yeah. intellectual disability mainly. Yes. And hopefully uh, we will be able to uh, be working in the different Palestinian cities with the hope to be able to reach Gaza. As you know, maybe, um, um, I'm not sure, uh, we cannot until now go to Gaza. Yeah. We cannot spread our work there no. because of the closure. It yeah. is it's completely closed and people from the West Bank and Jerusalem cannot go to Gaza. Thank yeah. you so much. I see we haven't got more, much time left. So I would like you to, if I may, ask you to volunteer one piece of wisdom that you've learnt about and your experience um, with Art to Heart that you can tell everybody else about. Just one piece, and then I'm afraid we have to wrap it up. Okay. Although I'd like to continue on and on. Yeah, I think it is the trust. We need to trust with the abilities of people who have disabilities. It is very important to see the other side. It's not only the basic needs that they need. It's they have the creativity. They have the right to practice art. And this is very important. I hope that one day we will be able to uh, to have more people with disabilities taking part in the cultural scene in Palestine as leaders, not right. only recipients. And this is what we are working on in Palestine particularly. That's great. And so to, to wrap up, I think I've taken from our discussion one of the most important things, which is, as you say, trust. And yeah. also the fact that you have your mixture of both um, disabled persons and able-bodied persons. Mm -hmm. It's art and community breeds confidence. It gives people confidence exactly. in themselves and to find themselves. Exactly. And I, I, I hope I've got that right. Exactly. And there is also one important thing that I really want to highlight. Mm. It's the role of art in bringing people without disabilities to understand more about the world and the needs of those with disabilities, bringing them together. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So, Suha. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank I you. really appreciate it. I hope everybody else has enjoyed it. Thank you. And all the very best going forward, building those bridges. And Great. let's hope there are lots of them built. Hopefully. Thank you very much. Thank you. And goodbye to everybody from Vienna.